Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce about nonlinear wave shaping. Previously, we have seen several circuits in linear wave shaping in the subject pulse and digital circuits. Now, in this second concept, I am going to start nonlinear wave shaping. Nonlinear wave shaping means we are using nonlinear components like diode and transistors that are used to change the shape of a sinusoidal signal. Okay. Previously, we have seen uh, linear wave shaping where we have used all resistance, capacitance and inductive components there. The shape of a sinusoidal signal is not varied when it is passing through a linear network, but the shape of a non-sinusoidal signal is varied in the case of linear network. That's why that circuit is and that circuit and those concepts are known as linear wave shaping. Here, nonlinear wave shaping means we are using nonlinear components like diodes and transistors. And the purpose of this particular nonlinear circuit is to change the shape of a sinusoidal signal. So, a sinusoidal signal shape is going to be changed when it is passing through a nonlinear network. So, the circuits definition for this nonlinear wave shaping, the circuits. for which the outputs are non-sinusoidal for sinusoidal inputs. are called non-linear wave shaping circuits. Okay. So, the meaning of non-linear wave shaping is, suppose if you are having a non-linear network, if you are having a non-linear network, Input is here let it be first case a sine wave. Then the output is a non sinusoidal signal. Okay. So when you are giving any other signal other than sine wave that shape of that particular signal will not be varied. So, non-linear network is nothing but it is made up of non-linear components, non-linear components like diode and transistor. Remember, that is the reason why it is named as non-linear network. Non-linear network is a combination of linear networks and as well as non-linear networks. So, non-linear network means that a purely non-linear components cannot be built a network. So, definitely pure, uh, no, like uh, something like uh, resistance, capacitance or any other circuit, circuit component should be there along with the non-linear components like diode or transistors. Okay, if such network is placed here and the input is a sinusoidal signal, that particular shape of the signal is varied when it is passing through this nonlinear network. That is the meaning of nonlinear wave shaping. Okay. okay. Again, I am saying the circuits for which the outputs are non-sinusoidal for sinusoidal inputs are called nonlinear wave shaping, nonlinear wave shaping circuits. Now, there are two types of nonlinear wave shaping circuits. They are clippers and clampers. There are two types of non-linear wave shaping circuits they are first one clippers
second one clampers clippers and clampers what do you mean by clipping and what do you mean by clamping clipping is nothing but elimination of some portion or part of the signal okay and clamper is nothing but adding some dc to the signal that means the signal will be shifted either in the positive side or in the negative side such type of network is known as a clamper okay it's also known as a level shifter clipper is nothing but it is used to eliminate some part of the signal okay it is a slicer or voltage limiter other names are also there you can also call it as slicer voltage limiter and clampers are also known as level shifters clampers are known as level shifters <laughs> okay more detail we can i will discuss in detail about these clippers and clampers when we go into that particular topics now let me introduce the clipping circuits with the vi characteristics of diode i told you a non linear components are used here let it be a diode or a transistor let us consider the diode action first <coughs> as a non linear circuit with the clipping circuits <coughs> first one you are going to discuss now clipping circuits so there are three different configurations for a clipping circuit there are three configurations for a clipping circuit first one a series combination of diode resistor and a <coughs> reference voltage okay the first configuration is nothing but the circuit clipping circuit can be made up of a combination of these three components one is a diode which is a non linear element and a resistor which is a linear element and a reference voltage reference voltage is to set the level to clip okay and the second one is a network consisting of a network consisting of many diodes resistors and reference voltages okay so the second configuration is not a single resistor single diode and a single reference voltage here we are using multiple diodes resistors and reference voltages so that is another type to have multiple clipping parts okay suppose clipping may be done in the positive peak or it may be done in the negative peak or it may be done at two levels okay so if you are using a single or one sided clipping then first case is sufficient no we want to go for the multi level clipping like a positive peak and as well as negative peak then two level clipping is needed by using multiple diodes and resistors and the third case is two emitter coupled transistors emitter coupled transistor operating as a differential amplifier <coughs> operating as differential amplifier okay so the first one is a single diode single resistor and single reference voltage that is used to clip the peak at positive or negative peak okay 
and the second case is multi level clipping positive and negative peak both the clips can, peaks can be clipped and third case is instead of using diode now we are using a transistor okay not a single transistor here you, we are using two transistors these two transistors that those are emitter coupled transistors okay now let us start the concept of diode clippers diode clippers so before going into the clipping action how the diode clips the positive peak or negative peak of the input sinusoidal signal before going into that topic let me first explain how a diode is acting in practical application and as well as ideal applications so let us see the va characteristics of diode we know the diode is having a two terminal device two electrodes diode is nothing but two electrodes anode and cathode anode and cathode it is a p type material and it is n type material it is not positive and negative please remember it is a p type semiconducting material and it is n type semiconducting material so when we are giving a potential like this okay that means anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage then diode is said to be diode d let us consider diode d diode is said to be in on state diode is said to be in on state suppose if the same diode is connected with the potential in the reverse direction <coughs> so this is anode this is cathode and now we are having a potential va is less than vk because the anode potential is at the negative terminal and cathode potential is at the positive terminal which is greater so va is less than vk then what happens diode is said to be off state if you are able to write this particular state whether the diode is in on state or off state then you can uh, 50 or 60 percent able to understand the clippers made up of diode okay so diode is said to be in on state when the potential at anode is greater than the potential at cathode then the diode is said to be in on state in on state how it is acting it simply acts as a short circuit so whatever the voltage we are giving that will be coming here in the second case the anode potential is less compared to the cathode potential and in this case diode is said to be in off state so in, it is nothing but open circuit here simply we can say it is open circuited like this there is no connection between input and output here it is a short circuit like this hope you understand the operation of diode now let us see the va characteristics of this diode <coughs> vi characteristic of diode so VI characteristics of diode. See, it is current axis and it is voltage axis. Here it is current. Now, before the application of input voltage, ideally, this is for ideal case. Before the zero volts, nothing but until zero, there is no current in the diode. So current is also zero current is zero on this same axis now after t after v is greater than zero then diode starts conducting and current also increases so current also increases like this on the same axis this is considered for ideal case nothing but forward resistance of that diode is zero and reverse resistance of the diode is zero with cut in voltage of the diode v gamma is also equal to zero v gamma is equal to zero remember this v gamma is a cut in voltage ideally it is zero but practically it is 0 0.3 for germanium material and 0 0.3 0 0.7 for silicon you might have studied these two concepts when you are in the uh, intermediate or in the engineering first year also you might have studied okay diode needs some minimum voltage practically diode needs some minimum voltage to start to produce the current to flow the current across it okay but ideally we can say it is uh, 
having zero cutting voltage and uh, zero reference uh, zero forward resistance and zero reverse resistance but when you are having finite suppose v gamma is finite v gamma is finite then the characteristics of the same diode will be like this after finite some voltage the current starts flowing this is i v and it is v gamma so what is the condition here v gamma is finite but forward current is forward resistance is zero and reverse resistance is also uh, infinity here reverse resistance is infinity reverse resistance means when the diode is said to be in reverse bias condition it is acting as open circuit no current is flowing open circuit means infinite resistance here also infinite resistance one more is there suppose if the forward resistance is finite if the forward resistance is finite v gamma is also finite v gamma is finite and forward resistance is also uh, sorry finite nothing but it is having some value then the characteristics will be like this there is some deviation in the signal previously the signal is in a straight line but here there will be a, some slope okay here rf is finite forward resistance of course reverse resistance is infinity and this is also finite okay the characteristics are like this okay so these are the ideal and practical characteristics of the vi uh, sorry uh, ideal and practical va characteristics of the diode so now in the next video i will start the clippers which is a shunt type clipper again there are two types of clippers we can design one is a shunt type another one is a series type okay first i will start with shunt type in the next video thank you